Alright guys, this is our experimental setup for the Faraday cage test. As you can see we have an access point with antennas mounted parallel to the floor and we have a cell phone sitting on a ground plane of aluminum screen and if I zoom you in here I will turn on All right, so here we have the signal strength. of the various access points. The turquoise line at the top is my access point and then down there at the bottom and the other colors you can see my neighbors. So we'll start by putting this cube here without a top on. And get this all set up. And the cube, as you can see, significantly increases the signal strength. It looks like that is a gain, an improvement of, wow, 20 dB improvement for the cube with no lead. So, seem to have made an antenna instead of a Faraday cage. But let's try it with a simple flat piece of screen for the lid. Just a regular flat piece of screen. Set that on there. And we can see that we get a approximately Oh, call it 10 or 12, 15 dB. I'll call it a 12 dB decrease. So, we Try instead the flat piece of screen, a piece of screen that has been folded over in the corners and is grounded. In that case, we get a decrease. Not too much improvement there. So, we then add a little bit of weight to the top. We're running about 137 ohms between the ground plane and the top screen. We push it down with a little bit of weight here. Adding some weight on the corners here. And looks like the best we can get is about a 20 dB reduction in signal strength. As you can see, if you open even a 
small little hole, you very rapidly only get maybe a 10 dB improvement instead of a 20 dB improvement. So unfortunately it looks like you need to make sure that all of your holes are as sealed as possible. So for a one foot by one foot by one foot aluminum screen cube, looks like about a 20 dB signal reduction there.